Hey guys, welcome back to another Power Rankings video. Today we're going to go over week 10 um, of the Power Rankings. So, with that being said, let's get into it. We're going to start with our pickums from last week. Yep. All right, so pickums from last week Tennessee, Pittsburgh, Thursday night football. Sapri and I picked the Steelers. We were correct. Um, Steelers end up, ended up winning 16 to or 20 to 16. Um, next game, Miami, Kansas City. Miami, uh, Sapri and Evan picked uh, Miami, and Kevin and I picked Kansas City. We figured, or at least I figured, um, the Dolphins needed to show us something, and they didn't. Minnesota, Atlanta. Um, uh, Sapri and I picked the Falcons, and unfortunately, the Falcons ended up losing to the Vikings 31-28. Um, so... I, we didn't expect Josh Dobbs to be in, in the game, but he ended up being in, in the game. So um, I guess that's why we lost. Sapri and Evan picked the Bears. Oh, Evan auto-picked, by the way. So that's why. Anyway, um, they both picked the Bears. It was a close game up until the end. Um, Saints ended up winning 24-17. Rams, Green Bay. I, I, we, I think we all picked the Rams because we thought Matt Stafford was going to be in the game, but he ended up not being, and... Brett Rippon started, so um, if I were to change it back, I would pick Green Bay. 2020, hindsight is 2020, but um, anyway, moving on. Washington, New England, uh, Saper and I picked the Commanders, Evan and Se Kevin picked the Patriots, and the Patriots ended up losing 20-17. to 17. Seattle, Baltimore, Baltimore wiped the floor with the, the Seahawks. I thought it was going to be a lot closer game. Um, so let's just ignore that. Tampa Bay, Houston. This was probably the game of the week if I if I had to pick a game of the week. Um, Texans ended up coming back and winning 39 to 37. CJ Stroud is unbelievable. Arizona, Cleveland. We all picked Cleveland. They won. Indianapolis, Carolina. We all picked Carolina except for Kevin, who picked Indianapolis. So he got uh, a win on that. The Giants versus the Raiders. We all picked the Raiders, and they won. Dallas, Philadelphia, Sapri, and Kevin picked the Cowboys. Um, me and Evan picked the Eagles, and the Eagles won. And then Sunday night football, Buffalo, Cincinnati. Buffalo ended up losing, uh, so Kevin and I got points for that. And then Chargers, Jets. Evan picked the Jets. Everyone else picked the Chargers. Remember, Evan did it autocorrect. Um, so here are the totals. I get plus 10 for this week, bringing my total up to 31. Kevin moves into second place with 10 more with um, 29. Sapri drops down to third place with 6 points this week to 26. And Evan also gets 6 points and is in last place with 20. Uh, that being said, let's go to the Survivor. Last week, uh, Sapri picked the Commanders at number 1. They ended up beating uh, the... The Patriots, 20-17. to 17. Uh, And then Evan picked the Titans on Thursday Night Football and ended up losing. Um, the Titans ended up losing 20-16. Kevin picked the Chargers, um, so he has a plus-5 streak going on right now. So he's going to, if the Cowboys win, which I'll, we'll get to that. Uh, and then I picked the Saints, who kind of scared me towards the beginning, but they ended up pulling away with it. This week, Evan picked the Seattle Seahawks to beat the Commanders. Kevin picked the Cowboys to beat the Giants, which both are probably going to happen. I picked the Bills to beat the Broncos in Monday Night Football, and Sapri picked the Bengals to beat the Texans, which, out of all the games, I think that might be the diff most difficult, um, and it probably will be because he has got bad luck with, with the great teams, so... Uh, Sabri, oh, for this, Survivor, Kevin has 15 points, uh, Evan has 10 points, I have 6 points, and Sabri has 1 point uh, with his win against the Commanders last week. So, uh, with that being said, let's get into this week's pick'ems. Uh, yeah. Carolina, Chicago. I, me and Sabri, everyone picked, by the way. Um, there's, there's no... Random picking, so that's good. Um, Sapri and I picked the Panthers. Evan and Kevin picked the Bears. Um, Indianapolis, New England in... Uh, what's the country? Gosh, Germany. Germany. <laughs> um, everyone picked the Colts except for Sapri, who picked the Patriots. 
Cleveland, Baltimore, we all picked the Ravens. Green Bay, Pittsburgh, we all picked the Steelers except for Evan. Evan loves throwing these hot takes in here for whatever reason, and that may be why he's at last place. Uh, San Francisco, Jacksonville, this is probably going to be the game of the week, if I had to guess. Um, Detroit Chargers might be a good game, but um, and Houston Cincinnati might be a good game, but I think this is probably the closest we're going to have to a playoff matchup, so this could go either way. I could see Jacksonville winning, but right now I'm going to pick the 49ers. Uh, Saints, Minnesota, everyone picked the Saints except for Evan. Uh, Houston, Cincinnati, everyone picked the uh, Bengals except for Evan. See, see a trend? <laughs> Uh, Tampa Bay, Tennessee, everyone picked the Bucks except for Evan. <laughs> um, and then this is this uh, Detroit Chargers, Evan and Sapri picked the Lions, Kevin and I picked the Chargers. Atlanta, Arizona, everyone picked the, uh, the Cardinals except for me. I don't know, I feel like Kyler Murray is going to come back, I understand that, but I don't, I think the Falcons are going to use Bijan, I hope, at least. Arthur Smith is going to figure it out figure out that running Jonu Smith tight end um, tight, end, tight end handoffs is not going to work out. Uh, end arounds, that's the word. Uh, New York Giants, Dallas, everyone, everyone picked the Cowboys. And Washington, Seattle, everyone picked the uh, Seahawks. Uh, New York Jets, Las Vegas. Saper and I picked the Raiders. Evan and Kevin picked the Jets. That's going to be an awful game. Um, it's going to be so bad. It's <laughs> Denver, Buffalo. We all picked the Bills. So, yeah. Um, let's go into power rankings. There we go. At number one, moving up... Well, staying at one, actually, is going to be the Eagles. Um, after their win against the Cowboys, which probably cements them as one of the top teams in the league, if not the top. Chiefs did the same thing, beating the Dolphins. Um, so they moved it up five spots. These is these are probably the best two teams, best three teams. After the Ravens, I don't know. I mean, these all are. I don't know. Ravens moving up one spot to three. These are like the Super Bowl contenders. These three, and then everyone else is just like playoffs. I think. Um, Cowboys at four after their loss to the Eagles. Bengals at five, moving up three spots after their win against the Bills. Um, Jaguars stayed put. I don't, I didn't put any, I, that's a mistake. I didn't put any, um, markers here. So give me one second. Yeah. The drag Jaguars dropped one spot to six. The Dolphins dropped down five spots with their loss against the chiefs to seven. Bills dropped down two spots to eight after the loss against the Bengals. Lions stay at 9. Browns move up two spots to 10 after their win against the Cardinals. Seahawks drop down one spot after their loss against the Ravens. 49ers didn't have a game this week, but, I mean, they haven't looked good. And with all these teams moving up, I think it's only fair that they drop down. But I think this is going to be a very telling game this week. Uh, anyway, Chargers move up one spot to 13 after their... Monday Night Football win. Texans move up four spots. Oh, by the way, Dolphins are the biggest loser of the week, dropping down five spots. Texans uh, at 14, moving up four spots after their win against the Bucks, who also moved up one spot because they looked decent against this Texans team. They're right in this category, like, after the Chargers. The way I would split it is I would have the first three teams are the Super Bowl contenders. And then from 4 to 13 are playoffs. And then from 14 to about 21 are good teams, but bad teams. Good, but bad. And then everyone else is sucked. Um, so anyway, anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, 16 at, at the Rams, they dropped down three spots. They didn't have their quarterback. So, I mean, they keep dropping, which is not a good sign. Steelers at 17 move up four spots after their win against the Titans. Uh, Saints move up one spot to 18. Packers move up three spots to 19 after not... Oh, no, they did win. They won against the pa the Rams. Uh, Vikings drop down five spots. Look, I know they won, but they don't have Kirk Cousins. They don't have Justin Jefferson. They don't have... I mean, Cam Akers wasn't a big deal or anything, but they just... They're losing 
a lot of people to injuries, and that's not the greatest sign. Uh, Titans drop down four spots after their loss against the Steelers. Biggest winner of the week is the Rams, who move up eight spots after they finally have a competent head coach and offensive coordinator. Speaking of competency of the head coach and offensive coordinator, the Falcons don't have any, um, so they drop down three spots. Colts stay at 24. Broncos move up one spot after not playing a game this week. Uh, Commanders drop or move up one spot after their win against the Patriots. Jets drop down four spots. Um, Patriots drop down three spots after their loss against the Commanders. Giants drop down one. Panthers drop down one. And then these two keep flip-flopping. Bears at 31, Cardinals at 32. But I, I could see Cardinals moving up like right here to 29 this week if they if with a win. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, stay tuned for next week with next week's Power Rankings. You're told I'll be a harder temptation.